start off, we're going to use some GSP. This is olive, 100 denier. I like to use GSP with foam because I can really cinch it down and uh, get it on there. Going to dress the hook all the way back to the bend of the hook and then back up to just before the midway point. And this is where I'm going to tie in the foam. Now for this pattern we're going to use some pre-shaped foam and this is the uh, right way sports. It's uh, Bugs Body 3 color, olive yellow and olive so it comes in a sandwich type thing pre-cut. makes it easy to tie these. But before I tie that in I want to give the shank here a coat of super glue. So we're going to go ahead and just put a, a little bit of super glue on the thread base and this will just help to hold the hopper body on. Okay, once we've got our super glue on, I want to place the body so that the eye of the hook is about halfway in, into this head segment. So I just lay that down there and then I will cinch the body on with a couple of turns and then I'm going to go to the head area and cinch that down with a couple of turns like so and then come back to the first segment tie it on just like that okay so it's just tied on with a few wraps and got the super glue on the bottom there and that should keep it pretty well secure okay now the next thing we do is tie in the legs the way I do the legs is I get some of these silicon skirts you can find in the bass area and I take three strips and I'm just going to take the full length like so and I tie knots in the on each end to form the legs of the grasshopper and I want these to be right at the end like so and do that on the other side. Okay, now that we've got our two ends tied, I'm going to tie this in right at this first tie-in point on the first segment of the body. And I usually like to make that about uh, a little bit longer than uh, the end of the body so that the legs will flare out. And we tie that in. You only need one wrap. And then we're going to swing this around, kind of like this. And I'm going to tie that piece in in a similar fashion without cutting it. So I actually make this uh, get tied in there without cutting a whole lot of extra. And secure that in as well. You don't want to pull too tight because these legs will flare out anyway, like so. Okay, so we've got our legs tied in, coming out, and then we've got what well, these will be the front legs. So I will actually deal with those in a minute here, but the next thing I want to do is I want to pull, pull my front legs forward and then hold them with this other hand, like so, and tie them in on that other segment, just like that. And now I can come up here and chop these right in the middle. And what I normally do is I just kind of see, I'm going to chop these off. I don't need, I only need one. Uh, you'd probably go with two. I just look at the ones that look the cleanest and I'm going to cut the other ones off. and then trim like so okay now the key to this fly is actually how this looks when it hits the water you'll get these legs the front and the back legs will actually uh, create a nice little impression on the water and so it's a, it's a nice effective pattern and the way these are tied in the back and the uh, the, the uh, silhouette of, gives a really good impression of hopper legs. 
Okay, now for a wing, I'm going to use some Swiss straw, and I'm just going to measure off a length there. And I like to tease out the Swiss straw a little bit, and then kind of mush it in there. What you want is you want this to kind of be cattywampus when you tie it in, because that way if it hits the water, it gives another uh, something for the fish to kind of focus on. So like, like that, we're just going to trim off the top here. So there's the wing. Okay, now on these ones, it's important for uh, this. This is going to sit a little lower in the water, so I want it to be. Um, I want it to have a good uh, indicator on it. So I'm going to go ahead and tie on some poly yarn. And I'll trim this a little bit better later. And the final thing we're going to tie on is a little kind of wing case thing over the back. And this again helps to kind of create a nice realistic profile. So I'm just going to take some two millimeter brown foam and I'm going to clip, clip off a piece that's a little bit more than rectangular, that's a little rectangle like so. And then I'm going to trim it up to give it a taper along the back. So this is what the finished piece will look like. And now I'm going to push this down over the top of the foam or the indicator and the wing. And I tie that in just right at the little bit towards the front there. And now I'm just going to cinch that down. like so. So that creates the back there. And I'm going to go ahead and whip finish. And then I'm going to trim my indicator here a bit, like so. And there it is. It's the finished hopper.